Hello friends. Thank you for always faithfully waiting for the Last Man on Earth movie series on our YouTube channel. We hope you can help us by subscribing so we can reach 1,000 subscribers. This will motivate us to upload the Last Man on Earth series faster until the final episode. Thank you for your continued support and patience. In this episode, Jasper speaks for the first time, even loudly responding to Tandy calling him. Hearing Jasper's voice makes Tandy very happy, and he immediately begins teaching Jasper some things and prepares him for an upcoming big event. Once preparations are complete, the big event begins. It turns out that this is the day Todd and Melissa decide to get married. With a modest setup and Carol and Erica as Melissa's bridesmaids, the ceremony goes smoothly without any issues. After their vows, Tandy takes the initiative to provide a symbolic gesture for their wedding. Since doves are extinct, he releases crickets instead, causing everyone to panic and scatter. After the wedding ceremony, they hold a party that night to celebrate Todd and Melissa's marriage. The new couple looks very happy on their wedding day, and everyone else shares in their joy, especially as they finally hear Jasper's voice, revealing more of his personality. During the festivities, Tandy suddenly asks for everyone's attention to say something. Once the room quiets down, Tandy announces that his parents always wanted to see their children help their wives give birth, implying that he wants to be Carol's doctor during childbirth. Out of respect for Tandy, everyone toasts and continues the celebration. After the event, Carol tells Tandy she only wants Gail to be her doctor. It's not that she doesn't trust Tandy or his parents' abilities. She just wants to ensure her and their unborn child's safety. Carol also mentions that she has already discussed this with Gail. Hearing this, Tandy becomes very angry and confronts Gail, who is reading a health magazine. With a menacing look, he warns Gail that he will be the one to deliver his child. Gail calmly responds that it is ultimately Carol's decision. Determined to prove himself, Tandy declares he will show everyone he is capable of being the doctor. He then retreats, still glaring at Gail. Tandy gathers everyone, even interrupting Todd and Melissa's first night together, and explains that he will demonstrate his baby-catching skills. With Carol's help, Tandy practices catching baby dolls launched from a machine. Although he catches a few dolls, it's not enough to convince everyone he is qualified to assist in childbirth. Not giving up, Tandy then demonstrates a delivery process using gelatin. He extracts a baby doll from the gelatin, but his method disturbs everyone. Unable to win their confidence, Tandy finally gives up and agrees to let Gail handle Carol's delivery. Feeling sorry for Tandy, Gail explains that she can't do it alone and suggests that Tandy could be her co-pilot. This renews Tandy's hope, and he happily accepts the role. Gail then mentions that Todd might also be chosen, but he would need a flight attendant, a role that would suit Tandy. Eager to be involved, Tandy accepts this position as well. While they are talking, Erica suddenly approaches them, looking panicked, and announces that her amniotic fluid has broken. After learning that Erica is about to give birth, Gail immediately initiates the first procedures. She calls Todd and prepares the room to ensure Erica can deliver in comfort. Drawing on her knowledge from the books she has read, Gail calms Erica, reassuring her that everything will be fine. Seeing Erica in pain and distress, Carol, who will soon go through the same phase, becomes very frightened and decides to retreat to her room. Meanwhile, Tandy, acting as the flight attendant, helps prepare the equipment that Todd and Gail will use. To make Erica more comfortable, Todd suggests playing some music. However, Tandy's choice of a death-themed song makes Erica uncomfortable, prompting her to ask him to stop. Melissa and Jasper visit Carol to comfort her, knowing that she is currently overwhelmed with fear, especially as she can hear Erica's continuous screams of pain. To mask Erica's screams, Carol plays a CD of laughing sounds. Melissa tries to reassure Carol by telling her that everything will be alright and that Erica and her baby will be healthy with Gail's help. They then decide to leave for a while, asking Carol to stay put. Back in Erica's delivery room, the situation becomes tense as Erica continues to moan in pain, unable to bear the intensity of childbirth. Gail tries to encourage Erica and keep her calm, assuring her that she can get through this. However, at one point, Erica loses consciousness. Seeing Erica pass out, Gail and Todd start to panic. Todd searches for a way to revive Erica, while Carol, watching Erica unconscious, 
becomes even more terrified of giving birth. Shortly after, Erica regains consciousness and everyone encourages her. As Erica focuses on her breathing, Todd and Gail discuss the methods they will use to assist with the delivery. The scene then shifts to Tandy, who chooses to accompany Jasper to the playground. While playing on a slide, Jasper expresses sadness, thinking Erica might die. Tandy explains to Jasper that Erica is not dying but performing a noble task to help maintain the human population and that he will soon have a baby sister. Understanding this, Jasper feels better and they continue to enjoy the slide. As they climb the slide's ladder, Tandy and Jasper notice smoke billowing from a factory. Meanwhile, Erica, aided by Gail, Todd, Melissa, and Carol, who has overcome her fears to assist with Erica's delivery, continues to struggle through childbirth. After a significant effort, Gail successfully delivers Erica's baby, a beautiful and healthy girl. Erica immediately embraces her newborn, and everyone is overjoyed, especially Todd, who feels deeply moved by being able to help with the delivery. In the midst of the celebrations, Tandy and Jasper decide to investigate the source of the smoke, which turns out to be coming from a nuclear plant. After realizing that the smoke was coming from a nuclear facility, Tandy and Jasper immediately rush to inform everyone. Ignoring the joyful atmosphere celebrating Erica's baby's arrival, Tandy announced there was something more critical to worry about. He urged everyone to see the smoke for themselves. When they did, Gail tried to verify Tandy's assertion that it originated from a nuclear facility. Tandy swore he was certain about the source of the smoke. Given the seriousness of Tandy's claim, they quickly held a meeting to discuss relocating to a safer place to protect Erica's newborn and Carol's unborn baby. They decided to head to Mexico, the nearest safe destination. They gathered all their belongings, including the house where Carol was sleeping, and set off to distance themselves from the nuclear smoke. The journey progressed swiftly, and they were just 72 miles from their destination. Everyone appeared happy, especially Todd and Melissa, since Mexico was a setting in their favorite film, The Shawshank Redemption. However, as they approached their destination, their safety detector indicated they were heading into danger. Unwilling to take risks, they turned back and discussed alternative shelter options. After a lengthy debate among Gail, Tandy, Todd, and Erica, they decided to return to Los Angeles. Some worried about the possibility of Pat finding them, but Tandy reassured them that Los Angeles was vast, making it unlikely for Pat to locate them. The bus driver then headed toward Los Angeles. The journey to Los Angeles was smooth until disaster struck. Their mobile home caught fire without anyone noticing. The danger multiplied when Pat, who was still alive, tracked the Tucson family's route thanks to the smoke from their burning mobile home. Upon arriving in Los Angeles, they were shocked to find their mobile home completely destroyed. With no place to stay, they decided to board a yacht to find another location. As they boarded, everyone urged Tandy to depart immediately. However, Tandy delayed their departure to ensure the journey would be safe. Meanwhile, Pat's movements remained undetected but were closing in. Once Tandy confirmed their journey would be safe, he prepared to start the boat. But just as Tandy took the helm, their worst fears materialized. Pat suddenly appeared from behind, armed with a rifle. Pat greeted everyone and began threatening the Tucson family's safety. Just as he was about to pull the trigger, Pat was shot dead by someone from behind. As Pat lay lifeless on the ground, it was revealed that his killer was Pamela, the woman controlling the drone that Melissa had previously damaged. This is the end of The Last Man on Earth Season 3. Like, comment, and subscribe so I will soon make a recap of For the Last Man on Earth. Thank you for watching.